Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Justin Sandberg from Bullion RV in Duluth, Minnesota, and we've got a brand new bullet to show you. It's a 2021 bullet by Keystone. It's a 287 QBS. We're going to take a look at the outside, take a look at the inside, see what you think. So right away at the front of this bullet, we've got the nice bullet logo. It's really hard to see because of all the light, but there's an LED strip right above that and you can turn it on and off. It just makes it look uh, a little different, stand out from the crowd. Keystone's doing this three year limited structural warranty, which is really awesome. And then the stock number on this is 22387. So head to our website, punch that number in and you'll get all the info on this unit. So here at the front, we're gonna put your 12 volt interstate battery on that rack there. We've got two 20 pound pro propane tanks in here. And then we've got your electric tongue jack on the front with a little light you can turn on and off. Really simple to get up and down and get hitched. Weight on this unit, unloaded vehicle weight is gonna be 5,940 pounds with a gross weight of 7,600 pounds. And this is absolutely awesome. We've got a huge, huge pass-through storage area here on the front of this bullet. You got your docking station right to the right here. So you got your battery disconnect, your TV hookups. These are the extend retract buttons for your power stabilizer jacks. So I'll just kind of show you how this works. So that one's for the back ones, the top one here for the front so super easy to bring those down hit retract brings it right back up so that is an awesome feature that this bullet has got all your uh, water connections right here all right and then we've got one slide on this bullet it's gonna be a living room slide we got some nice really big windows on there and right around the corner here we're gonna have your outside shower your hot water heater got some nice tires down there it's a double axle the tires are wider spread than you'll normally see so that's going to uh, help with the pulling it's going to be really smooth going down the road and we've got aluminum rims on those tires we've got a spare tire right on the back this unit is going to be on 30 amp service and of course, you've got your backup camera prep right at the top there. All right, and then I do have the awning out right now. So you got a nice big awning, set up a little campsite here right in front. You got a little outdoor kitchen, you got a mini fridge. You got a little bit of storage back here, and then your two burner cooktop, which is super handy to have. And then you're also going to have your outside speakers, which are super important. Get that music cranked up at the campsite. You got your TV hookups out here and 110s. And then you've got your backer location here. So you can set up a TV bracket, bring the TV out here and get it all set up. If you guys look at the pass through storage from this side, you got some pegboarding right along that wall there. So you can get kind of creative with your uh, storage options. A nice light here in the front and then this is the light or i shouldn't say the light the switch to turn your lights on and off on the front cap so that's where that is this bullet's gonna have the thermal package on it again power stabilizer jacks got the nice sturdy solid steps and then you got a really big grab handle going inside all right, so we'll just head right into the bedroom here. Got a nice size bed. Got storage under the bed here. And then you're gonna have a wardrobe on that side and this side. So just to give you guys a look at what that's gonna look like, you got your rod for hanging up your clothes. You got a little storage drawer right underneath that. And then you've got a little access here so you can put your uh, your hamper down there got some storage up above the bed here these are going to be barn style doors so this really uh, utilizes the space in here 
Got two nice opposing windows in here. I've got this one open just to help cool down the camper a little bit. Got your other wardrobe on this side. With another drawer. It's a nice spacious front uh, bedroom here. And then right out of there, you're gonna have your entertainment center. So you've got some storage right up above. You got your TV. Got your radio down here with AM, FM. You can hook in via auxiliary, USB. You got a little storage area there. A little more storage right below that. And then right to the right here, I almost missed this. You got your control panel, so you can check your, your black tanks, your fresh tank. You got all your switches here for the porch ceiling lights. And then you got your slide out control and your awning control. Got a really nice big living area. Got your farm style sink. Got your faucet, your three burner cooktop with the glass cover. Got some really cool lighting effects on the knobs for the uh, cooktop here. And then you got your oven. Got some nice storage right in the kitchen here. Got a little drawer there. Got some pull out drawers. Got your Furion oven vent. You got a fan on here. And then your light. And then right above that, we got your microwave. Get this uh, freezer and fridge opened up for you. So a nice big fridge freezer. And then when we turn around here, you got your sofa. This is going to have a pull-out bed. Again, you've got some really nice big windows here. Loving a lot of ventilation, a lot of natural light in this area. You've got some USBs right by the sofa here. You've got your uh, booth dinette, and this will turn into a table. Got some really nice storage under the dinette, and that is carpeted, which is cool. Got the one air conditioner right up here. Got your thermostat on the wall right next to the bathroom. So you've got your toilet, some nice storage in here, some really nice counter space right up here. Got some storage under there for the TP. You got your mirrored medicine cabinet. Got a nice tall shower with a ceiling vent fan up there. And it is nice because there is actually a tub here. So if you got small kids, you can even give them a bath in there. And a nice little towel hanger on the door. And then heading back into the rear bunk room here, you've got another wardrobe with all this uh, shelving in here. And you can adjust this how you want. So you can kind of customize this for your storage needs. Some more storage under there and again you've got your barn style door right here before we head into the bunk room so we've got two static bunks on this side each one has a window so the kids could uh open or close the window as they as they choose you've got usb ports up here you got tv hookups you can set a tv up here got a ton of storage for the kids clothes their toys you got your fuse box back here a couple drawers and then this is where you've got your little dinette back here. So you can turn this into a bed as well. And then you've got a drop down bunk, which is in the up position right now, right above that. So realistically, you could sleep two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, almost 10 people in here. So this is an awesome camper. If you've got a lot of friends coming with, you've got a big family. Give you guys one more good walk through here. It's a really nice light interior. It's not too dark. Got the awesome kitchen there again. All right, and again, my name is Justin Sandberg from Bullion RV in Duluth, Minnesota. If you like this 2021 Bullet Key, Bullet by Keystone 287 QBS, give me a call at 651-529-5767. Keep on camping, have a great day, and as always, thanks for watching.